Hi everybody, uh, my name is Georgia Peck. I'm the program coordinator for the Lake Windermere Ambassadors. And today we are on Lake Windermere and we're gonna show you some of the equipment that we use to sample for water quality and what we're looking for when we are sampling. So the piece of equipment I have in my hand right now is called a Secchi disc. And what this helps us measure is not only the depth but also the Secchi depth. And what that tells us is the clarity of the water and specifically how much light is penetrating the water. Now every week we use the same GPS coordinates to go to the same three sites. One on the north end, one in the middle, and here on the south end of Lake Windermere. And we also have weights on the end of this disc which is going to help the disc sink into the water. And when we have strong currents below the surface, it'll also keep the disc as straight as it can be. Now this really convenient black and white pattern on the disc helps us see uh, regardless of the depth or the light penetrating the water. So when we are doing our reading, first you want to take your sunglasses off so we're not uh, receiving any inaccurate readings. And we're also going to go to the side of the boat where there is no direct sunlight because that can also impact the readings we're getting. Now what we'll do is we will slowly drop our Secchi disc into the water. We're going to let it sink and we're going to record the number as soon as that Secchi disc is out of sight. Now that's just half of the work because what we'll do as soon as we get that number is we'll start pulling it up again. We'll record the number as soon as we can see the disc. We'll average those two numbers and that will give us our Secchi depth. So once we've gotten the Secchi depth, we're also going to be taking the sight depth. And what we do for that is we'll drop the line until it goes slack. And that's when we know the disc is resting on the lake bottom. Right now on the south end, it's at 2.8 meters.